So, like, I'm trying to, like, get my ADHD, like, a little bit more under control, but, um... Hey, everyone, and welcome. I am Sailor Drew. Let's hang out and play some Stardew. Okay, so today is Pam's birthday. I was gonna, like, skip some days, but I have a lot to do today, so I'm, I was like, I might as well as, like, actually record. Uh, so... Good humor... Let's talk honey. No, not you, silly. I'm talking about the sweet product made by our friends, the bees. Here's the thing. If you got some flowers blooming near your bee house, your bees will produce flavored honey. Otherwise, you only get wild honey. Pretty sweet, huh? Yeah, that's actually uh, true. So, talked about this a little bit on Twitter with someone who was like, Oh my God, Stardew's teaching me so much. I was like, yeah. Like, little... Like, depending on, like, what they have around them will actually flavor, um, their honey. And we found this out firsthand because, um, there's a farmer's market out by where we used to live. And it used to be so nice because we could just walk there if Scott had, uh, Saturdays off, which it was very, very rare. Um, so it was always, a, like, a really, really nice treat to be able to go there. Like, it was just, it was, I loved living down there. Like, it was such a cool place. Like, we definitely can't afford to live there anymore. But, um, it's, uh, they have, like, a, a honey vendor out there usually that gets, like, honey from, like, all over the valley. And we learned a lot from them. And it was, like, really, really interesting. And we got to taste test everything. And it, it's crazy, like, how different it makes everything taste. Like, it's really, really cool. So if you ever have like a farmer's market or anything like that, uh, I suggest you go, cause they're really fun. But also you might be able to get to experience something like that. So it's uh, it's really neat, I yeah. Um, so yesterday we had a storm, took down one of my trees, <laughs> and it destroyed the, uh, the tap. So that's something else that they took away to where you can't tap stumps anymore, which is very unfortunate. That's another thing that I'm just like, why did they take that away? Like, I understand why they took away the, uh, okay, you know what, let's milk the cows before we let them out. Um, I understand why they took away, like, the time hacks, like, exploits where you could get down to the bottom of the uh the seabed with the submarine if you pause and then also you could get like a ton of time by pausing or uh, eating something after you laid a bomb down oh wait i didn't want three i want only wanted two uh because my inventory is already kind of a mess this morning so uh, they also don't. Oh god. <laughs> like, there's like only one tiny patch of grass. Like, yeah. Okay. So, uh, grass might need to happen. Might need to go to piers today and get seeds too. Um, oh yeah, a lot of stuff came in, so. Uh, but yeah, the not being able to tap the tree stump, I'm kind of like, really? Really? Like, you have to take that away? But they did. There's nothing I can do about it. So it did destroy, the lightning did destroy that, um, that tap, unfortunately. So, which was a major bummer. It also like pulled up like a lot of flooring and stuff. Like it was, it was quite insane. Um, oh wow. And look, it actually hit every single one of our lightning rods, which I've never had happen before. Uh, usually it only does like a few. And then you're just kind of stuck, like, staring at, like, all the empty ones. Like, what good are you for? Uh, cool. Yeah. All right, so I'll have to put, like, another one there. And maybe some more, like, throughout the farm. But, yeah, today is definitely, uh, pier day. So, because we definitely need to go shopping. Uh, so let's grab the coffee. I was also looking at my relationships, and I am one part away from being maxed out with Harvey, which I might have to give him some things that he hates. <laughs> so he doesn't like assume anything is going to happen uh, just because, uh, oh wow, ooh, coffee beans, oh yeah. Oh, and of course like my inventory's full. Uh, so let's just throw some stuff in here so that way I can actually grab everything. 
I'll just put the coffee beans in here because I've got enough out there to where this isn't going to be like a huge issue if I put them in here. But yeah, I just want to max out my hearts with the people that I'm thinking about like courting. So like Sebastian, Elliot, and Liam. Which I really need to work on Elliot because I'm only at three hearts with him. So yeah, like he's he's down there. Uh, so many things. So many things. Which, speaking of hearts, today is Pam's birthday, so we'll swing by and, like, give her some coffee. Today's the last day for Salmon Berry season. I've already, like, collected quite a few. So, I'm wondering if I should go ahead and, like, go out and get a bunch more or not. Uh, oh, wait. It didn't do the thing that I said that I was going to do. So... Let's put the beans in here. Uh, yeah, we'll put the silver ones in there too. So, and then I'll go back and grab them so that way I can sell them really quick. I really, really, really want a full fledged. Oh, whoops. Uh, yeah, okay, I got a little. I get a little turned around there. Oh, I should kind of just like sold a bunch of other stuff too. But I'm going to be here, so I actually want to actually get my money in real time. So no. No. <laughs> uh, let's see here. I don't think I'll need the totems today. Definitely don't uh, need the pumpkin soup. Although I do need to put it out like actually where it needs to go, don't I? Um. So maybe... Yeah, I don't think I'll need the warp totem. Yeah, lots of seeds need to be bought today, uh, as well as grass. So, yeah, I'm bummer. Uh, I'm bummed that the lightning took out my my tree. I'm just like, dang it! Like, I'm having a hard time getting all my other trees to grow. Like, that was like all so nice and neat, and like you had to like go and take it out. Like, how dare! How dare. Uh, Alright, so green beans I'll put in here because um, Emily loves a hot pot. Green bean, whatchamacallit. I also feel like for some reason like it has really good stats on it or something. So like, I don't know. I'll just save those and we'll, we'll see. We'll see. Also need to start giving out flowers or sell them because I'm hoarding flowers. When I don't really need to be. So that's kind of an issue. Um, I mean, today is Pam's birthday, so I guess I'll, we'll give her a tulip. Are there any base color tulips that I can stack in here? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll take those. Sell that. Uh, Oh, look, I have a starfish. Oh, that's right. Okay, I was like, oh my god, I had a starfish the whole time. No, no, it's my private game on the Switch that I need a starfish for, unfortunately. So, so annoying. Uh, so Judy wants kale. Do we have any on me? No, no. Okay. That's fine, that's fine. Let's give Abigail a tulip. And then we'll give Pierre some coffee. Oh, I should have brought hardwood as well. Selling all of the things. Ah, uh, wow, so much money. Yeah, so that way I could have like upgraded the house. Uh, so I don't know if I really need anything else grown. I mean, eventually, yeah, like we'll do parsnips, but. Right now, I guess the big, the big crop is going to continue to be the potato seeds. So, and it will make us the most money. So, go ahead and get some more of those. All right. So, I also could turn in my quest to Emily. Oh, there's Elliot. Hi, Elliot. It's been a while. This is for me. Marvelous. I can't seem to find the inspiration to begin writing my novel. I see, I see. That is a problem. I wish you luck, sir. Alright, uh, so yeah, I guess I'll swing back to the farm. And, oh, let's give Penny an artifact. 
Like, let's actually kind of like start using up like the gift box. Like, I'm being kind of lazy with the coffee. <laughs> I mean, it's so easy to sit there and just give everybody the same thing because it only takes up one space in your inventory. I still have yet to find out the person who I gave coffee once and they didn't seem to like it. Like, I really... Oh, God, where did she go? <laughs> Hello? Like, she was there, right? Like, I'm not hallucinating. Hello, Penny? Did she, like, walk all the way to the museum? Surely not. Like, what the heck? Where did she go? Dang it. I walked all the way up there to get her that artifact. And then she disappeared on me. <laughs> Like, I have no idea where she went. Okay, well, we'll put it up and then I'll go back to the farm so I can get all of um, Emily's crystals and then Jody's kale. Um, so since our luck is good today, I'm kind of wondering what we should do. Like, I don't know. Today's the last day for the, the, um, the salmon berries. And yeah, like, I kind of want to, like, go around and collect them, but, like, I already have, like, over a hundred, and there's no way, like, I'm gonna be able to go through all of them, so it doesn't really matter. It just, it feels like a waste, so it just kind of, like, bugs me to, like, not, like, take advantage of it, since berry season is only, like, Monday through Thursday. Um, yeah, so I don't know, but let's see. So, coffee beans... I'm gonna be more attentive towards the coffee since I lost like all of my espresso. <laughs> Still so upset about that. Alright, um, let's put all of the forageables up because I'm not really sure if I have enough to make seeds or if I even have like mixed. Oh, wait, no, I have some mixed summer seeds, so I don't know. Um, hmm. Yeah, so you've got like 183. Like, that's a, that's quite a lot. Okay, so let's plant the potatoes. And I wonder if the shipping box is an instant thing, or if she like... Oh, okay, see, there is power in here. Uh... Yeah, I wonder if the shipping box thing is an instantaneous thing, or if she'll, like, actually take, like, she needs time to build it, like, one day. Um, because I, I really want a full-size shipping box over here. Like, this little box is not cutting it for me. Like, it's, it's an issue. Um, so I'll have to, like, move some stuff around, probably, or I'll just move this one and put it where I'm not... I'm not sure, actually. Uh, so let's see. Hardwood I need. Um, I don't have any sort of snap items on me, though. Um, I mean, cactus fruit, I guess. So we also need to make... Um, you know what? And I was by Pam and I didn't give her a gift. Ugh. I swear, my, my, like, so, like, I'm trying to, like, get my ADHD, like, a little bit more under control, but, um, and I'm doing much better, like, because I'm, like, back on medication, like, after, like, like, decades of not being on it, and it's helped me out, like, a ton, but the retention, like, I'm not thinking as many things at, all at once. Which is fantastic. Um, it's just the retention thing I'm still struggling with. Oh god, 50 though. Ugh. Yeah, three days. Ay ay ay. Okay. Um, we're we're broke. <laughs> we are so broke. So broke. So am I gonna have enough money to like send them out and like go recover something? Like, I don't know. Let's go let's go take a look. Uh, but yeah, I was running out of wood a lot, so I uh, have been sitting here like kind of cutting down trees. 
is crazy like how fast you go through wood. All right, uh, let's also see what they have for sale. That'll have a good ton of 55, 64. Yeah, see it was not like that far off from the galaxy sword. Oh God, there's a galaxy hammer. It's made from an ultra light material you've never seen before. Oh wow, but it's 70 to 90 damage. And it's actually plus two speed. Wow. Or this is plus four speed. Oh no. So you're telling me that the galaxy hammer is the best in the game? Oh my god. Like, I just, I find them so annoying because the same button to interact with stuff is to do like that ground pound and that ground pound is so annoying. I might have to just like start like keeping my, like keeping in my hand like something else all the time. Ugh, this is the worst news. Okay, wait, I actually almost left before I, uh, oh wait, it says like I can scroll up and down, but I can't. Oh, and it'll just, oh. <laughs> the pain, the hits just keep on coming. So it actually sits there and like deletes whatever you lost last time, uh, the time prior. So, oh, that stinks. That stinks. That that hurts. It hurts. Okay. Uh, but since I'm over here, I might as well just check the quarry, right? I mean, oh, look, a leak. George. Oh, speaking of trees. Okay, so I'll be able to give Pam like her birthday gift, like at the saloon. She always goes there, obviously. Um, I'm just gonna get the good stuff, and then we'll go back home because I forgot the uh, the gems. <laughs> Like all the things that I said that I was gonna take with me, uh, I forgot to grab. So it's kind of an issue, right? So like I was saying, yeah, sh short term memory and retention. Like I'm still having a hard time with. So, uh, so bus stop would be fastest. Faster than running on the horse out here. Um, yeah, and because I'm not thinking as many things all at once, um, I noticed that what happens is that previously I would juggle my thoughts to where I would be able to kind of like do like a little bit of like thought recovery basically to where I would remember like, oh yeah, and I was talking about this like a lot quicker. Whereas, you know, because it like puts it on the back burner and it's there in the back of my mind, like juggling with all the other things that I'm juggling. Um, just waiting for me to like pick it back up. Whereas like because of the medication that I'm taking and everything, um, once that thought is gone, like there is no back burner to put it on. It just gets like chucked out the window, you know, so... It's a, it's a little bit harder for me to like remember things, so um, I have to start working on my focus. Uh, all right, so Amethyst, Aquamarine, I think she wants uh, an Earth Crystal, Topaz, Rupee, Jade? I don't know, I don't remember what she wants. So Rock Rejuvenation, Ruby, Topaz, Emerald, Jade, Amethyst, so RTE, RTE, J, A. R T E A J. Just five? Yep, just five. Okay. So let's put the other ones back. Okay. And that's a little bit of a memory trick is that it's easier to remember like the beginning letter of something than like the whole thing. You remember my birthday. I'm impressed. Thanks. Uh, coffee for everyone! Okay. Let's get her gifts. Or, uh... I mean, they're kind of gifts, right? Okay. 
Excellent. So a thousand for that is not a bad trade-off. Oh, look at me, like looking at this cactus. <laughs> oh. oh, wow, you can sit in the booth. Oh gosh, no, I don't wanna sit in the booth. This is great, thanks. It's his birthday later on this week too, so we'll have to say hi to him and whatnot. How are we doing relationship-wise with everybody? So, Sebastian, I maxed out, yeah, Harvey. So no more gifts or Harvey. Um, wow, the wizard's kind of up there, huh? Elliot and Leah are three hearts, yeah. So, uh, yeah, we're doing not great in some areas, and in other areas, we're doing stupendous. <laughs> hey now, this is a really great gift, thanks. Are you friends with my son? Bam, probably know him better than I do. Well, that's rough. I was uh, explaining to my friend a little bit about the game, because he was like, I just, he's like, it seems like a game that I would get into, but he's like, I just don't really like have any interest in it. And I'm like, that's understandable. Like, I don't know if I would have gotten into it if uh, my brother-in-law hadn't have suggested it to me, but I was like, maybe the graphics are a bit of a turn off. Like, I'm not sure, but it's a lot deeper than you would initially think. Like, it talks about like a lot of really interesting kind of nuanced things. Um, and it gets like really deep, like once you get into, once you get closer to people and I don't know, it's just, it's really interesting. Like it doesn't pull its punches like a lot of games like this do. Like they're very safe where this one actually talks about real life things. Like, and I think that's a, a very important message to talk about, um, is Kent's, you know, having a really hard time reintegrating into being a civilian um, because a lot of military have that and you know the military has a lot of issues and flaws and stuff Ooh, pink cowgirl hat um, and I have a lot of opinions on that I'm not gonna get into it but uh oh Daisy uh a tiara oh no I don't have any money oh I'm broke okay bye um, but the one thing that I can understand just from an outsider and being married to a vet, like, the camaraderie that a lot of, not everybody, but a lot of service members experience is not something that you automatically have in your civilian life. Um, even if you're surrounded by friends and family, it's different. Not everybody gets along with their family, um, and might not be super close to their friends. Then there's also, on top of that, um, just knowing your exact place in kind of the hierarchy of things. Uh, a lot of people have a really hard time with, um, adjusting to that as well. Uh, I actually watched a TikTok, and this guy was talking about, like, how he's autistic- and how, like, a lot of people who have, are on the spectrum thrive in the military because they get, like, a lot of structure. So, I thought it was interesting. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. So, I, I like the fact that they kind of touch on things with Kent. You know, like, him having PTSD and, um... And having a hard time fitting back in. Like, it's just, it's such a good game. So I was kind of telling him a little bit about that. And kind of like the more heavier, um, uh, storylines and stuff. So I just, I find it really interesting. But I am really going to try and get closer to some people that we didn't get to see a lot of in our last Let's Play through. So... I also do intend to do like a third let's play, like not immediately after this one ends because I'd like to have like a little bit of a break in between, but sometime, well, you know, like sometime after. Uh, do I have anything to sell? No. Actually, you know what? Let's sell the pine cones. Like I have so many pine cones. 
Um, so yeah, it's it's just interesting. So um, whoever we don't get to within this let's play in the last let's play, I will definitely try and make a priority. Like I'll actually make a list with the next playthrough because the next playthrough is going to be like super heavily modded to where we're gonna have a lot of new content that way. I just wanted to experience all of the new 1.5 content uh separate from modding the game because then it, it would have been like hard for me to kind of like tell the difference basically uh all right so marlin got our uh crystal fruit drew flip this letter over for instructions on how to make a super healthy meal you'll feel energized see you soon salad which we can start wooing leah with Hey Drew, thanks again for the wonderful gemstones. Those will be perfect for my energy realignment work. I wanted to thank you with this special gift. I hope you create some wonderful items with it. Emily, excellent. Oh, I didn't click on it, that's funny. I'm glad it gave it to me. Um, cool. Yeah, so I'll be able to start making some clothes because I would very much like to look fancy for the flower festival coming up because I am going to be asking someone to dance. Alright, uh, I might start like planting some of the seeds like down in the, like the beach area that I have. Uh, I don't have anything there for. Just because like... Hmm. Yeah, let's put this right here. Because uh, as of right now, like we don't really have... Any use for that area, that space. So... Um, Having a tree farm to like chop down purely just for wood would be probably good. Place cloth or dyeable clothing in the feed and materials in the spool to begin tailoring. Okay, so there we go. So basically you put something in here like and it'll make like a piece of clothing that uh, has that color. So that's why I wanted to save the eggs. Oh really? So it's just the same? Interesting. Interesting. Okay. Um. Wow. So we're gonna have to like do one of everything, huh? Gonna need more bunnies. <laughs> sure, let's put the bait in, see what happens. <laughs> oh, I'm getting a lot of green things. Um. Uh, coffee? Okay. Oh god, I really don't want to put the espresso in here, but I'll do it. So am I not gonna get a skirt? Can I not make skirts? That's like not cool. Like I want a skirt. Okay, cactus fruit, sure why not? Okay. Well that's kind of new, right? Like off the shoulder type of thing. Oh, a hat. Wait. What? Oh, it looked like a hat, at least. Okay, so you can put it in there to get, like, something different. Wow. How weird. This... Wow. So weird. Oh, my God. Okay, so what do I have in here that I could put in there? Quartz? Um... I don't know. How many more pieces of cloth do I have? Put the diamond in there. Makes me want to sew something. Oh, fancy. Okay. Uh, yeah, so I definitely want to put the quartz in here. Interesting, interesting. Interesting. Oh my gosh, that is so much fun. Hey, we need more bunnies. <laughs> more bunnies and more looms. Uh, so let's make two more looms then. Can I look at all the books I have in my inventory now? Alright, so let's place these down. And, um, yeah, so the bee houses we'll have to put up as well. So I would, oh god. Um, alright, hops. I think, I think it's time to start doing hops. Um, because I'd like to do, like, maybe the top two rows, wine, 
And then the bottom two, coffee. As long as I still need coffee, which I mean like, ugh. Yeah. Let's let's just not talk about it. <laughs> let's not talk about it. Um so let's come in here. And let's see. So I have ten hop starters. The question is, where should I put them? Maybe up at the top? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Okay. So it won't be ten, but that's okay. So that way uh, we'll be able to do pale ale because pale ale is like a, a really good money maker. Doesn't seem like it because hops don't sell for nothing, but the pale ale sells for a lot. So let's I put the heel hoe on me before I forget. Uh, put that on there. So I can make a quality bobber, right? Yes. Let's uh, make some more of that. Okay, put that on there. Um, so we're gonna come in here. Excuse me, pardon me. Look at that, already done. Okay. Put those in there. Then tomorrow, hopefully I'll come back in here and remember that I need to go in there to get that stuff. Okay, auto grabber. I'm telling you, it needs to happen. All right, so what can we put in here now? Maybe iron? Um, what else do we can we put in here? Oh, I can fire this actually really quick before I get. I could put like one piece of iridium in there. Oh, jeez. Am I about to do this? Um, <clears throat> hold on. See what it makes. Interesting. Yeah, so these are like new clothing items. Like we have not seen these before. It's pretty exciting. Um, <clears throat> pardon. Yep, that was it. Exciting. <laughs> the excitement's over. Oh, sad. Okay, uh, so let's put that stuff up and then grab the... Let's see, are there cactus seeds here somewhere? Okay, so I only have six. All right, drink. Espresso. I think today is Shane's birthday. So we'll have to, like, go out and say hi to him. Grab the espresso. And I'll just fill it tomorrow. I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's already like 3 p.m. And like we, I mean, we've done stuff. We've done stuff. Uh, see. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, because I think this, my watering can only goes out to five right now. Yeah. And you have to water it every day. Uh, all right. And then also the bee houses. Get these in here. Uh, I would also like to make a chest for inside the house now that I have, like, a lot of clothes. Uh, there was something else that I wanted to make. So I made the cheese makers. So I can make cheese finally. Is there anything else? Oh, I can make some more tappers. There, don't have any copper anymore, so I need to make some of that. Um, I do want to plant some trees down there. Uh, yeah, I might have to make another chest. Like, I feel like the chest is going to get full, like, really fast. Um, but let's go ahead and go up there. Grab the horse, of course, and, oh, somebody's calling. Hello? It's a pre-recorded message in a foreign language. You can't understand it at all. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, all right. They were contacting me about my extended warranty, car warranty. Okay, cool. So can I sell the stuff that I've made duplicates of? 
I wonder? I guess there's only one way to find out, right? Oh, look, it's like a little iridium thing. Iridium energy shirt. Show off your iridium energy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, this one's dyeable. Interesting. So some of these are dyeable. So I guess I'll be able to, like, change their color. This one um, isn't. So I'll see if I can, like, put it in the the thing or yeah okay and then uh maybe yeah let's change our shirt why not necklace shirt a shirt with a gold necklace Ooh, fancy fancy um i guess we'll just go with shirt <laughs> a wearable shirt or this one gray vest a gray vest over the white shirt yeah let's look hip yeah all right so let's put our pink shirt up Oh, the shirt is probably dyeable, huh? And I wonder if I'm good enough friends with the wizard to change my appearance. Because I really want to... Oh, wait. This is not good. <laughs> uh, I really want to change my appearance a little bit. Um, so, yeah. like, I, And I think it, he's still the guy to see about that. No, do not eat the kale. Oh, so you saw the bulletin I posted? It looks perfect. Here's a little something for your trouble. Thanks. Definitely need it. Super broke. Super broke. Alright. Uh, check trash? Sure, why not? And... Uh, speaking of the wizard, I still need to go, like, on that quest. Um, oh yeah, Shane. I was like, who is I gonna go see next? Shane. It's its birthday. Oh wow, it's happening. It is Friday. Let's. Oh, oh, Ra <laughs> He's just here dancing by himself. This is great. Thanks. Oh, today's not his birthday. Maybe I guess it's tomorrow. Thanks. I really like this. Thanks. I like this. Hey, how'd you know I was hungry? This looks delicious. Should I let Sam win for once? Nah. <laughs> Uh, so let's see, who have I not bequeathed coffee to? Wow, this is like the best play time to come, right? Oh, I should have bought uh, Leah a salad. One of you pointed out that I could buy a salad at the saloon and I totally forgot about that. Okay, cool. Alright, and then uh, the leak thing is going to have to happen another day. It's a good thing that it's one of those um, quests that we don't have to like do right away. And then also, where did I see like the two dig spots right here? Okay. Fantastic. Ooh, a spoon and a flute. We have not turned into Gunther yet. Excellent. Uh, but guys, that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. And thanks for hanging out with me. Please hit the like button and comment down below as it always lets me know that you want to see more episodes from me. Until next time, take care and I will see you in the next video.